You know, in Somalia, we have this concept of a generation. You know, usually people are part of a generation and you are measured with that generation. Basically, as you get older, you're seeing how you are doing compared to the people who are from the same generation. Now, if you look at the Somali leaders and their generations in Africa or Asia, you can always see that they have failed terribly, especially the leaders since the civil war. They haven't managed to do anything anywhere. And I believe that all of them have been complete failures. But this time, our leaders decided to embarrass us all in front of the whole world. Now, let me show you the clip. A Somalian sports minister has been suspended for nepotism after this runner finished a 100 meter sprint 10 seconds behind the winner at the World University Games in China. An investigation revealed Nasra Abukara Ali is not a sports person, nor a runner. Khadija Arden Dahir stood down after allegations that the novice sprinter is her niece. So our sports minister decided to put her niece who has never run in her life, who has never competed, who has absolutely no experience in front of the whole world to compete with professionals. She doesn't even know how to start the race. She doesn't know how to run the race. And the saddest part is that she's so confident that she's now publicly on Twitter and other places talking about, oh, I just had a bad day. Next time I'm going to compete better. <laughs> what are you talking about? Have these people lost their minds? What kind of madness is this? How humiliating can this be? Why are you putting a woman, and according to some reports, she's pregnant. And they decided to put a pregnant woman who has never competed in front of the whole world. By the way, we have people who have competed. We have professional level people. And then the Ministry of Somalia and a lot of people in the Somali government, they're saying, oh, we didn't know about this. We didn't send anyone. What do you mean you didn't send anyone? Your minister decided to put her knees in front of the whole world, in front of the cameras, and this lady broke the record for the slowest time in history. Let me say that again. She broke the world record for the slowest time in history, and she's talking about, I had a bad day. I mean, there are bad days, and there are bad days, but this is not a bad day. This is madness. Is this really how our government is led? Is this really what represents us? Watching what's happening in Burkina Faso, in Mali, in Niger, I'm starting to think that we need something similar because this shit ain't working. What kind of madness is this? And I have to say that the generation that are leading us, once again, I believe that they failed us. This is the path that they has led us to. We've had Olympic level runners, people who've won Olympic gold medals. We have great runners, we have female runners. I was watching a one interview from a female runner who was saying that she's been training for a while and she's never been asked to come anywhere because she's not a niece of anyone. So even our sports have become nepotism. And even Mo Farah came on and he was saying that, listen, like Somalis, like, what are you talking about? Like, you cannot put nepotism and sports together. There are certain things which you should understand you cannot do. You cannot have your niece running the sports just because you feel like it. And this is how the whole country is run. And every time I see my president, Somali president, Hassan Sheikh, I see his daughter next to him for no apparent reason. Why is his daughter next to him every single time I see him? I am getting tired of this nonsense. I mean, how long are we going to watch this incompetence? How long are we going to allow nepotism and corruption to this highest level? This is getting humiliating. And our economy is not developing. The country is not developing. Nothing is happening. Our leaders are just pitting us against each other. Constant infighting. But no one is asking. What have these people accomplished? All the leaders since the day of the civil war began, and I don't care if the leaders are from Putland, Somaliland, or Somalia, none of them have accomplished anything. But anyways, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment.